Welcome to Southern Connections Summer Edition. I'm Pastor Damien Rice, President of South New Zealand Conference. It has certainly been a year of change, a year of challenges, but also a year of blessings. And one of the exciting things that we've seen around the conference this year has been uh, the growth and revival and baptisms that have taken place in many of our churches. Uh, both the Fijian and Samoan churches under the leadership of Pastor Kenneth Fuliese have uh, run some outreach programs that have resulted in baptisms. Invercargill Church has seen real revival uh, and many exciting stories of changed lives, people coming to Jesus and joining the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And more recently, the Garden City Fellowship and Bishop Dale Churches collaborated uh, here in Christchurch with Pastor Vadim Butov to run an evangelistic series which uh, likewise has contributed to the growth of those churches this year. That growth has resulted in the recent organisation of Garden City Fellowship as an official organised church. We also were pleased to uh, formally recognise the uh, company status of the Filipino uh, congregation this year as well and look forward to their continued growth and progress as they work towards organisation in the near future. The Youth Department has also experienced its share of change, challenge and blessing this year. Ray Moanga joins us. Thanks Damien. We had two camporees which has been very successful. In our Pathfinder camporee this year, we were able to acquire the services of Pastor Mick Cross, who was the South Pacific Division Youth Leader, who was able to bless us with his message about the journey of Paul. Also this year, we tried something very different, and we had our Unite Cafe, which was taking place at a local cafe in Riccarton, here in Christchurch. And we had about 30 young people attend. The owners of the cafe were very impressed, and their comments directly were, your young people were well behaved, but most importantly, they were really impressed by the testimony of Jonathan Gillard. Another interesting point uh, for the youth department this year is we were able to present uh, and initiate a new award at the Christchurch Adventist School Prize Giving Night. This award is called the Leadership and Service Award, which goes to a student who actively participates in leadership roles within their school, as well as the ability to serve others without asking. And this year, we're proud to present this award to Bridget O'Grady uh, here in Christchurch Adventist School, but also down in Southland um, Adventist School. And that award went to Isaiah Payton. So congratulations, Bridget and Isaiah. Last but not least, we have 37 young people from South New Zealand attending the South Pacific Division Youth World Congress. And this is awesome and great news, and we are very excited to represent the South Island and also have a great time of fellowship, as well as studying the Word together and doing many activities together. Thanks, Ray. I was uh, really encouraged this year to uh, see um, the Edge mag uh, coming to South New Zealand. Uh, this is a magazine especially for the young people of Australia and New Zealand. And um, I noticed uh, an article called The Big Catch, written by our very own Ray Moanga. Ray, yes. what's going on? Well, I was approached by the team at AUC this year and said, hey, we would love you, for you to write an article. And this edition especially, it was about relationships. So I've entitled our uh, edition of this segment that I've been uh, responsible for as The Big Catch. And I'm talking about what it takes to have The Big Catch in a relationship with others, but most importantly, the relationship with God. So God is our biggest catch, but how does that work in being able to have a relationship with others? So I'm very excited about that. This is my second article so far, so I'm looking forward to writing more in the future. Thanks, Ray. Don't forget to grab your copy of uh, the Edge Mag. The end of the year is uh, always a time of uh, farewells, and South New Zealand Conference is sad to be saying goodbye to some of our uh, great staff as they move on to other things. Pastor Viktor Kulikov from Invercargill, along with his uh, family, Agnes, and two little boys, Nathan and Daniel, uh, have accepted a call to go and work in Auckland at the New Zealand Pacific Union Conference. We wish Viktor and his family all the best as they make that move. South New Zealand is also uh, saying farewell to Steve and Monique Kennelly and uh, all of their children, Megan, uh, Mariah and Blake. Steve has uh, worked at Mount Hutt with great commitment and vision for uh, ministry to our young people, for 
about 14 years and during that time has made a great contribution to the camping ministry of our conference. We've had uh, some inquiries about uh, our upcoming regional meetings. Uh, like you, we're disappointed that camp won't be proceeding at Pasco Park this year, but we've uh, planned for a great week of revival and fellowship uh, for our church members across the conference, um, but we understand that it will be especially um, relevant to our members in Christchurch. The dates for the conference regional uh, are in fact uh, the 21st of January to the 26th, we'll be starting our meetings on Monday evening at 6.15pm. John Shapajic will be speaking and then there'll be a short break uh, before the main worship uh, program commences with praise and worship and our devotional speaker, Jean-Noel Adeline. Uh, meetings will run at Bishopdale for the first four nights of the week, Monday through Thursday before we shift to the Aurora Centre for Friday night and Sabbath, uh, where uh, we'll once again be featuring uh, Jean Noel as the main preacher. And uh, there will be a number of other people in attendance, uh, including uh, Julie Wesley from the South Pacific Division, who will be caring for our children's program and also running a training event in the afternoon. Alvin Ship will be visiting with us from Sanitarium and he'll be running a training seminar in the afternoon about uh, how to run the Alpha uh, training course for introducing people to Jesus and the Christian faith. And throughout the week, uh, each evening, we will be uh, holding a program for our primary age kids from the ages of five through to uh, 12. And we encourage you to come along early uh, for some fun and games. There'll be some great things happening during the week of the regional, including some uh, sanitarium uh, bags being given away during the week, and also New Millennium Books will have a display throughout the week where you can uh, purchase uh, Christian books and Bibles, music and DVDs for the kids. It will all be happening at Bishopdale Church and then at the Aurora Centre over the weekend. We look forward to seeing you there. And I know that God is going to bless and move us as we prepare, especially to reach out to Christchurch in 2013. Christmas is a season of anticipation, expectation, preparation and waiting. As Seventh-day Adventists, we're always living in the Advent season as we look forward to the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. On behalf of South New Zealand Conference, we want to say thank you for your support, for your involvement in the mission of the church this year. We want to uh, wish you God's blessings and a Merry Christmas. Hey Damien, what's this? Oh, haven't you seen that? No, I haven't. That's the um, new calendar for 2013. It's got all the conference events on it that the youth department and conference are organising um, next year. Okay, what do we have coming up? So Ray, there's uh, three important events that are coming up that people need to know about in the first quarter. From January 21 to 26, we've got our conference-wide regional meetings in Christchurch. Also coming up in uh, February and March, we've got our annual road show where we'll be visiting around all of our churches and also conducting a northern and southern regional as well as uh, having our executive committee forum in each of those places prior to a meeting of the executive. Uh, the third thing that we want to draw people's attention to is the GROW Leadership Conference that will be held from March 15 to 17 and uh, Pastor Robert Steed from the Australian Union and uh, Wayne Krause from the South Pacific Division will be coming. We're going to be having a focus on uh, making disciples through multiplying leaders, churches and groups. And we'll be talking about church planting, renewing Sabbath schools, starting small groups and homes of hope, adopted town. It's going to be a great weekend and one not to be missed.